Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the analysis of sequential circuit that uses JK flip flop. So, as we know, in the analysis procedure, we have to find out what is the function to compute A of t plus 1, B of t plus 1, and additionally, if we have some external output, that equation should also be computed from the input. Okay. So, now let's try to compute what is the input for the J and K inputs of the flip-flops. Okay? Since there are two JK flip-flops, to distinguish them, we will use this label to differentiate the JK flip-flop. Okay? So, I will use JA to represent the input for J in the flip-flop A and similarly K A represent the input for K in the A flip-flop. Similarly, we have J B and K B. So, what is the input for J A? J A is given B. So, B at time T is given as input to J and K has a combinational circuit, right? This is B and this is X bar. So, what we get here is B bar X, sorry, B X bar. So, K A is B X bar. And what is A of T plus 1? This is not like D flip lock which will output whatever you feed in at time T. So, this has its own characteristic equation. So, this is going to be J Q bar or K bar Q. This is the characteristic equation of the J K flip lock. Similarly, so, so here instead of J, we will say it is J A and K A and uh, instead of Q, we will be using A. So, I will rub that. So, this is the characteristic equation J A, which is J. Instead of Q bar, we have A bar or K A bar A. Okay, similarly we can write B of T plus 1 as J B B bar or it is K B bar B. Okay, and the input equation for J B is X bar. And KB is, we have XR of A, this is A and this is X. Okay, and this is the XR of A and X. Okay, so these are the input equations. So, using this input equations, we have to Find out what will be the value supplied to JK based on the inputs and the previous state and find out what is the output of the flip-flops using the characteristic equation of the flip-flop. Okay. So, this is the state table. Okay. The present state and the input we have given. The next state we have to compute. So, we can write 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1 for the present state and the input. The next state we cannot directly compute because we have to use this values and compute the flip-flop inputs. And based on the flip-flop input, we have to find out what is the next state of the flip-flop. So, let us uh, use uh, one flip-flop equation J A and K A. J A is B and K A is B 
x bar so j a is b and k a is b into x bar okay so 0 in 0 and 1 0 and 0 is 0 so here so here it is 1 b x bar is 1 here okay so similarly we can compute what is the flip flop input for k flip flop input j a and k a for the flip flop a here we consider the input for the flip flop a flip flop a is 0 okay the input is 0 0 so it is no change that means that i have to retain this value 0 here and here if we get 1 1 as input to the jk flip flop it is the complement input right so the present state is 0 so the complemented input uh, output will be 1 similarly 1 0 is a set input okay so irrespective of this input we will set the circuit and this is no change again and so on okay similarly we can find out the inputs for the flip flop b okay and we can use the input for the flip flop to find what is the next state of b okay say for example 1 1 here is complement right so the corresponding value of b here is 0 so the next state value will be 1 okay uh, 1 uh, 0 0 will just maintain the previous state so if it is 0 you will have 0 in the next state as well okay and this is the transition diagram we have a 4 input uh, state again 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 from 0 0 when we have x we go to 0 1 0 0 when we get input 0 we go to 0 1 so we draw this edge and when we get a 1 as input we remain in the same state so it's a self loop and so on okay so the same information we have represented as a diagram here so this is the analysis of the sequential circuit implemented with JK flip-flop.